golden liquid light at the base of your spine. And then you fuse with it, and like a fiery serpent, you are singed into your skull. For you are the temple of the living God, and the only curtain that is split is split not in some little thing made by human hands, but your own body is split in two. That's the curtain. And so now you make a new and living way into the Holy of Holies. And that Holy of Holies, it was empty when you came out. And you go back now, and you're the only living reality in it. And all of those who preceded you, and those who will come together, you'll form one being. One infinite being, that is God the Father. And then your final state is when the Holy Spirit descends upon you in bodily form as a dove. That is the seal of approval of the work being completed. And then you tell the story, as I'm telling it to you now. You tell it to anyone who will listen, in the hope that they will listen and believe it. For it is destined that they will experience it. But no one can really understand and appreciate Scripture until he has experienced Scripture. You have no idea how altogether wonderful it is until you've experienced it. The thrill that was mine when this thing happened with David. I jumped out of my bed and I wrote it down. It was early in the morning. My wife was sound asleep and I didn't want to wake her. And the next morning when I told her, I said, you may not believe this, but do you know I am the father of David? Well, she loves all the things that I have in my vision and she never ridicules or makes little of anything I tell her. And it struck her forcibly. But I said, yes, honestly, I am David's father. But at the moment, believing it to be secular history, my wife would think to me, is this now a memory of the past? Going back 3,000 years ago, you lived, and you were the man called in Scripture Jesse. Then in time, it all unfolded. The meaning of Jesse, Jesse means Jehovah. And yet here I am, limited in this world, restricted by the body that I wear, imprisoned by this body, and continue to be in prison to the very end when I take it off for the last time. This time when I take it off, I am not re-imprisoned as all who have not had the experience will be. For all who have not had the experience will be restored to life in a body just like this, only young and healthy, and nothing missing. Perfect, about 20 years of age, to continue the journey until that last revelation. All the revelations in the world, marvelous as they are, they must wait to the end, and the end is when he reveals himself in the sun. So we are told, set your hope fully upon the grace that is coming to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ in you. The unveiling of Jesus Christ in you is the unveiling of the Father and the Son. Jesus is the Father. He who has seen me, said Jesus, has seen the Father. And the Son is David who calls him, my Lord. And so when that whole thing is unveiled within man, then he knows who he is. And everyone came here for that one purpose, to give up completely and overcome death. For the last enemy to, to be overcome is death. Really nothing dies anyway. For all are restored. Everything is restored by these eternal images that are forever in heaven. And they are restored by contemplating the image. But that doesn't mean the end. That's only restoration. Resurrection is something entirely different. That comes at the end. And after the resurrection, which is the awakening within the skull, comes the birth from above. Then the discovery of David. Then the splitting of the temple. And then the descent of the dove. And these are the marks of Jesus upon the body that 
Paul said, I bear upon my body the marks of Jesus. He did not spell them out. I am making every effort to spell them out and to give you the actual interval of time between these marks that you may check it. It took me 1260 days. Or you can say three and a half months. Or three and a half years, pardon me, or 42 months. These names are all in scripture. 42 months, three and a half years, or time, times and half a time, or 1260 days. It takes exactly 1260 days. From the, 20th, from the 20th day of July of 1959 to the first day of January of 1963 comes to 1260 days. And that was the interval in which the whole thing happened. Other visions came after that, but they are not considered the mark. These are the marks that took 1260 days. Now here, because we are at almost the end of the journey, let us go into the silence and give you a longer time tonight to ask questions, if you feel like it. And let us go. Good. <coughs> now, are there any questions, please? Yes, ma'am. Why is it that when you have dreams or even visions, you do not understand that it exists, but its whole purpose is to reveal God within it. Did you all hear that question? Yes. 